we welcome in Cincinnati play-by-play -play man and I should mention SU alum Dan Horton. Dan, Cincinnati a little overmatched stacking up against Syracuse, but what do they have to do to stay in this game and even potentially pull out an upset? They need to take good shots. Uh, their offense has been very inconsistent this year. They have a tendency to kind of just pass it around the perimeter. You can't do that against Syracuse. If you do that, you'll get crushed. So they need to move the ball well. They need to get it to the free throw line area to try and either kick it out for wide open threes or dish it down low to try and get an inside shot against the 2-3. It's easier said than done, especially this year when Syracuse has so much length, uh, but they cannot rely on just kicking around the perimeter and taking a contested three. If they do, they're dead. Well, the Bearcats are really led by a trio of players, Deontay Vaughn, Lance Stevenson, and Yancey Gates. What makes them so valuable to Cincinnati's success? Well, you're right. That is the big three. Those are the three guys on the team that average double digits, and certainly all three will have to play well in order for Cincinnati to beat Syracuse. Deontay Vaughn is a senior, and he's been a very good player. He's been all Big East each of the last two years, so he's an established star in this league who could finish as the second leading scorer in Cincinnati history behind Oscar Robertson, so that tells you the kind of career he's had. Uh, Lance Stevenson, somewhat reminiscent of Paul Harris in that he just uses his strength to get close to the basket and score, but he struggles with his outside shots, so similar to Paul Harris in that respect as well. And then Yancey Gates is just a moose. He's 6'9", he's 260 pounds, he's very athletic, a guy that's likely to play in the NBA. He's just a genetic freak. Okay, Dan, so Syracuse has been hot, winners of nine in a row, but any chance of a letdown Sunday against Cincinnati? I think it's going to be a close game. The Bearcats have played very well on their home floor. They've only lost one game at home this year, and that was the pit. So Syracuse fans can identify with that. And historically, they have played well against the highest-profile teams that have come into their home arena during Mick Cronin's coaching tenure, even when his teams didn't match up in terms of talent. Dan, all right, not going to let you go that easy. I need a prediction. Who wins this game? And keep in mind, are you really going to pick against your alma mater? <laughs> if forced to make a prediction, I would have to pick Syracuse. All right, well, our thanks to Cincinnati play-by-play -play man and Syracuse alum Dan Horton.